what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we are back with some more demon slayer today we're going to be doing two episodes of course you already know i'm not up in the ante and i'm not bowing out either so um it's either one or two episodes i'm not trying to put this um any further along than it already is right now yes i'm enjoying the series but I don't want to put too much on my plate um, of doing this at the current moment. Um, you guys know what's going on around the world. I don't need to remind you of that, even though I just did. But in any case, <laughs> let's move on. You know, um, last reaction, I got to see the real Zenitsu. And I have to say, I don't know if he's become my favorite character in the show yet. But he's definitely he's definitely up there at a close third right now behind Tanjiro and Nezuko, right? So got a lot more insight into the Demon Slayers. Of course, the Demon Slayer core this dude, this dude with the boar head. Um, you know, um, when it comes on to the to the opening, and this is the reason why I don't like watch opening. People are saying, "Watch the opening, man." There's no there's no spoilers. Well, it's obviously kind of a spoiler in there because, in some way or some form, Zenitsu and Tanjiro becomes friends with the pig with this pig headed dude, this boar head dude, right? With the boar breathing or the I don't even know what they call it, beast breathing, right? Not boar breathing, beast breathing. He does beast breathing. Um, right, he does beast breathing, breathing, um, Zenitsu does thunder breathing, and Tanjiro does water breathing. Um, so, in the opening, it's obvious that they became friends, somehow. So the tension that is happening right now, it can't really resonate with me that much, because... I know they kind of become some sort of friends. They were playing around in the opening. You get what I'm trying to say? So that's the reason why I don't watch opening, guys. And people are always telling me, watch the opening, there's no spoilers. Yeah, let me watch the opening after everything in the opening has developed. That's what you guys should do for me. I hate to say it, and I, you know, but I have to tell you guys, you know, it's, it's the same thing. When it came, I mean, JoJo was good. But you guys did a bad job on this one. <laughs> JoJo's was very was very good. It didn't spoil anything. Whether it's the old opening or the new one that we're watching right now. None of it spoiled anything for me. I usually just listen to the sound. Like I listen to the song to see if I like the song. But I don't really check out the visuals. Because anime is notoriously, notoriously known for spoiling things in their openings they're just notoriously known for that you know what i mean so um that's why i really don't watch them for the sake of you me having a genuine reaction for stuff happening in the show so not here to 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 bash anybody specifically or anything like that i just want you guys to keep that in mind for the future animes that we will watch because i'm not going to do this again because this definitely spoiled because all of this that is happening right now, I can understand and enjoy it in the moment with Zenet with Zenetsu protecting ne Nezuko um, while this guy is trying to kill Nezuko. He's not trying to kill Zenetsu because he knows Zenetsu is part of the Demon Slayer core, um, you know, but because he sniffs out Nezuko, they both know that there's a demon inside the box. But Zenetsu is protecting it because Tanjiro, um, is, he knows that it, you know, it means a lot to Tanjiro. So, you know, I'm thinking now that Tanjiro has tackled him, it's going to be a, a scuffle. But in the end, they're going to become some sort of friends in the end. You know, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But from what I can tell from watching the opening, seems like they become pretty decent friends. So... I don't know. I don't play around with people who ain't my friends. So, um, so yeah, let's go watch the episodes and I will see you guys for the review. All 
All right, welcome back, guys. Um, these two episodes are pretty. I mean, episode episode fourteen. Um, pretty much, you know, resolving the situation between Inus Inusuke Inusuke Inusuke, um, and Tanjiro, and now Zenitsu is basically in love with Nezuko. So. So that happened. <laughs> okay, so we learned a lot more, um, a little bit about the lore of people who were attacked by demons, saved, you know, by demon hunters, demon slayers, whatever. Um, so they kind of help out, you know, when they need rest and, you know, a doctor and they do it for free. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, but these new demons, um, I I'm interested to see, you know... I'm waiting for them to really go up against someone that's really formidable. Like, I mean, the, the the fake demon moons that came before they weren't part of the 12. Um, we met a former member of the 12. Um, I mean, his moves were, were pretty cool. They were pretty cool. But it wasn't anything to scoff at. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, leader dude has sent out a couple of big big um some big guns to go deal with these demons so they must be formidable um hearing that 10 um guys were, were well not all of them is dead but they are having trouble you know some of them are dead right so wow <laughs> i don't know what that is anyways it's crazy to think that this anime is gonna it, it you guys say it's gonna get better than what it is now and i'm looking forward to it i'm looking forward to it because i'm seeing elements of this anime that i really that i really like um when you're talking about deep deep storylines demon slayer doesn't really have that it doesn't really have you know it, it has deeper meanings and it's very one-offish. It's not a continuation of these deeper meanings, nothing to dive into. You know what I'm saying? It's more of like, I get it. <laughs> you know, I, I get why this is happening because of the explanation. And then you move on to the next thing. One of the other things, maybe in later seasons, you know, they might go deeper into the lore and stuff like that because right now, the um the way out there explain explaining the lore it's it's very weird you know what i'm saying like i'm not saying weird in a bad way i'm saying weird in a good way it's not given to you as in it's given to you in in a style or explanation not through the story but through you you get what i'm trying to say like um usually in anime they use the story to explain the lore you get what i'm saying but in this anime they're doing like not necessarily flashbacks but there's like screens and pictures and stuff like that to explain the lore which they could do in the story. they could do in the story too but you guys get what i'm saying i'm not saying it's a bad thing it's just um it's not like i've never seen it before it's just that animes that usually do this you know, it makes it seem like there's nothing deep within the story, but there is, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not saying that to say, say it in a bad way or the anime is bad in any way because I am enjoying what I'm watching. I think the moment to moment, um, you guys said all this stuff is going, to, is going to pick up. So I'm, I'm holding on to see those, those things happen. OK, so hopefully you guys will continue to watch these episodes with me. Um, these episodes were, pr were pretty good. Learned a lot about um, Inusuke. Um, I, um, one thing, if I should be critical of, I didn't like the fact that they kind of preempted Inusuke's move as if, you know, as if Tanjiro would know. You get what I'm trying to say? Like if he did, if he had just did it. And we found out about it, but you know, before that, you heard Tanjiro's um, say, 
if you have some sort, you know, if you have some sort of move or that could that could do that. Like you don't do that in storytelling. You just it's just it's you can, but it's boring that way because then we have some sort of expectancy to see this. See if he had just if he had just did that, if he had just did it, you know, spatial. What is it? Spatial awareness or something like that. I think that's what it's called. If he had just did that, I would have been like, wow, that's amazing. But because of what Tanjiro said, I kind of expected him to do something of the sort to find um, to find the demon. You get what I'm saying? So this is a bit of a nitpicking. I didn't like it when I when I started because I was like, OK, I guess he got some sort of move that's going to do this. They shouldn't have let Tanjiro did that. They should have just been like, um, we need to find this demon, you know, let's run or something like that. If he had said something like that, you know, that would have been better. And then, um, Inosuke would have stopped him and be like, listen, you know, I can do my, my beast breathing allows me to do this. You get what I'm saying? And then I think that would have went over better. But that's, that's just me. That's just me. That doesn't have to be anybody else. That's just me. Like, for me, I don't like when stories are written like that. Because then you're already telling the audience that he has that move. You get what I'm saying? Showing a move without ever experiencing, experiencing it, whether through somebody hyping it up or whatever the situation is before or talks about it, that that's not surprising. When it comes on to anime... It's not surprising if that happens. You know, you want that. For me, it didn't ruin the moment at all. It didn't ruin the moment. It's just that my reaction is going to be different because I expected him to have something of the sort because of what Tanjiro said. You get what I'm saying? So that's just me. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, man, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of these two episodes. There's more to come. Of course, you already know. Subscribe if you're new. I'm out here, man. Terabyte reacts. Peace.